What's up my ninjas, it's D here. Today I'm going to show you this new program called VC Face. It's meant for showing emotions or expressions. And I'll go ahead and link the program below. But this is just going to show you guys how to get started. So as soon as you open the program, you're going to pick the webcam you want to use. Change it to 30 FPS, high quality. You don't need a microphone, don't worry about that. I have my current avatar ready to go. However, this one I added... My own expressions to it with unity so i'm going to show you guys a basic one without any expressions so that you guys just have an idea of what you know you get automatically this is a basic um avatar so right now it's telling me that my camera is being used by a different program and unfortunately it is dream labs um the only way for it to change this is if you exit out and reopen the program and change the camera from there. And now as you can see, all it is tracking is talking and face. Now we want expressions to be uh, calibrated. So as you can see, it's just basic, you know, it's just like 310, it follows your face, follows your eyes, follows your talking. You're gonna to wanna to go into settings, general, scroll down to where it says expression detection and hit experimental expression. This is what pops up all these different kind of calibrations that you may do. I have it set for mirror so that, you know, it turns the way I want it to turn. You're going to see down here, these are emotions that come with your avatar already. However, you need to calibrate it or you need to set these up based on your face. So for a quick example, neutral is pretty easy. You're going to hit neutral. It's basically going to record you. And what you want to do is try and get all the angles for this camera to see, you know, what your neutral face is. You want to make sure you calibrate so that it saves your settings. So now we're going to start doing different ones. So let's do fun. And I'm just going to smile. Happy face, smiling, looking up and down as much as possible. Calibrate. So now see, now it's smiling. So I smile. It smiles. Ta-da. It's pretty cool. And let's add, let's add angry. You're gonna frown. You can't tell yet, but I'm just, you know, grumpy facing everywhere. I'm gonna calibrate, stop recording. So now, ta da, angry face, happy face, angry, happy. Ugh, it's hard. Um, you're gonna notice that these are basic, they are standardized. However, I can take these and then change them in Unity. So if you don't want, such a happy smile. I can go to Unity and make it not so not so uh, wide grin. And you're angry, you know, her eyebrows are kind of going to her eyes. I can change that so the eyebrows aren't doing that. But basically, this is very standard. Um, without any editing in Unity, your avatar will have these emotions. So it's pretty cool. Um, this program and another program named Luppet can also do emotions. So now I'm going to show you what I've changed in my avatar, uh, things I've done in Unity. You're going to want to save your calibration once you uh, do it so that you don't have to do that all over again. So here's my finalized avatar. I've done my emotes in it. Um, since I restarted my calibration, it doesn't have any of my emotions right now, so I'm going to load it. Let's see, so neutral, neutral face. As you can see, like I'm looking around, but it's still thinking that I'm doing something. This needs to be calibrated a bit more. The smiling, I added angry. So you see my eyebrows aren't so far into my eyes and there's a little tick mark. So I added that in Unity. <laughs> um, that's something I can do to your avatar. Oh, uh, there's sad. Or my version of sad. They're surprised. Like so. I also added, uh -huh. so like you can do this uh, toggle. They're basically toggled skins. So you can have this, I call it evil. You can tell, ah, uh, I have fangs. <laughs> so this, whenever I toggle this, it has fangs no matter what I do. And it goes through the motion still. See, evil face. So evil, angry evil. And I can toggle that off and do another one that I made. You can go to settings and go to expressions in case there's something that you wanna change. So for example, 
say you're smiling you don't want this character to be blinking as you're smiling so this is considered joy you just take out this eye blinking because if it eye blinks yeah see weird so you want to take those off yeah so calibrating is is very important like i could here yeah, i can calibrate this <laughs> So where it freaks out, you want to make sure that your face is neutral, so it stops freaking out, like so. It's pretty neat. The nice thing about this too is that it has leap motion, which I have enabled. Um, yeah, so you can get a device to track your hands. Right now, I have. Let me. There you go. So hands. Ta-da! Pretty neat. You can also do this in Lupit. I heard. So if you want to try Lupid, I can make a tutorial of that, but I, you know, ta-da. <laughs> so this is how you use VC face. Um, hope it was helpful. It's really only necessary if you want to do emotions. Like it's not, you know, it's not needed. Not everyone wants to do it, but if you want to take your avatar the next step, it's pretty cool, you know, just making faces and that kind of stuff. And like I said, you can add your additional things on Unity, things that to make you a little more different than the basic avatar that everyone's going to be getting. So check it out. You know, let me know what you want. If you want hearts everywhere, I could add hearts or just sweats. And <laughs> I even learned how to make, uh, what do you call it, moving, moving images or something. So it could be like rotating around you or spinning or something. And uh, it's, it gets pretty wild. So there's, that's about it. So you know what to do. Hit me up if you want a commission. I'll link this program below. And uh, sorry for the longer, longer than necessary tutorial. But uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye.